Fall's number one new drama keeps the surprises coming. New Blind Spot. After the Emmy winning voice, you must see Monday on NBC. Welcome back. 50 minutes past the hour. Time to check back in with Samada. Oh, good morning, morning. everyone. How's it going Did over you there? have a good weekend? Did everybody have a good weekend? Okay, do you remember your weekend? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Most I don't know. All the days just kind of bleed together now. We are yeah. very, all especially, of us, very much sleep deprived right now. Yeah, We're especially trying to just... with one hot day to the next. Right. Yeah, well, extreme heat kills brain cells. Well, you have to remember your weekend. You were in Disneyland. I know. Well, Disneyland kills. I've been kills, looking. Well, Disneyland yes. with the kids. Kill Disneyland brain cells. with the kids can kill brain cells. <laughs> All the parents out there are like, go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah we know ten. About. Yeah. Dan, I have to give you credit. Ten hours. That's not even right, a lot. Right, Audra. Ten hours. That is a busy guy. day. No, you know what? That's not I a lot. I applaud you. No, if you think about it, it's not a lot. Some the, people show up right at eight o'clock exactly. when they open. They and stay they until close yeah. yeah. until toward they midnight. Get kicked out. Right. Yeah. Night. Did I mean, you get kicked out? No, Did you no, stay no. until you get kicked out? We were out of uh, out of the gate by like 8:35. Wow, that's early. Then hit a traffic yeah. jam on the way back, so I think In we the rolled heat. back into town mm -hmm. sometime around 11 ish. Wow, not bad. Head hit the pillow a little after 12:30. And yeah. we're right back here to do the news. Let's go. There you go. <laughs> you know, I, I applaud Dan. Way to, way to stick with us, Dan. Hey, you didn't get any sleep either. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just, one of those nights that you just kind of toss and turn and you just can't, you know. Good morning, folks. If you're feeling like we're feeling, we do thank you for waking up with us <laughs> and sharing the early morning pain hours. 81 degrees right now for some folks. And then later, our heat is going to be coming back. We could be seeing temperatures right around 103 for the Coachella Valley. But for us folks here in the Valley, of course, we can handle the heat. We actually just came off of a very hot summer and for fall, also unseasonably hot for this time of year. We're actually looking at a good 10 degrees above where we should be for fall. So expect some clouds throughout your day today with lots of, you know, sunshine in between. The good news is there is going to be some changes. Better midweek because we will be seeing our numbers starting to finally drop down to where they should be in the 90s and even a little further by the time the weekend rolls around we could actually be seeing numbers right around the 80s and that's something that's certainly welcoming news so this is a look at the broader scope of things a high pressure system this of course has been keeping us on the hotter side for all of southern california santa Ana, newport beach san diego all broke some records this past weekend for the coachella valley we just remained above the average but this is what's coming mid Week. See this area of low pressure? It's just located just south of Southern California. Well, it's going to be kind of coming back around, and by right around Wednesday through Friday, could be giving us some precipitation. I know here in the desert, we're like, ah, it never rains here, but we do maybe get a chance of some sprinkles and some on again, off again showers. Really depends where you are. Not everyone is going to get it, but we're going to keep a close eye on that for you. 103 degrees in Palm Springs. Areas of the Southland also expected to get scattered showers beginning as early as Wednesday through Friday. 96 and 96 as well through Whitewater, 91 in Joshua Tree, and here's a look at the rest of your week. We're going to start to come down when it comes to temperatures. We're going to shed off the heat and then by Wednesday into Friday you see there about a 20% chance. So a slight chance we might get some precipitation, but because that chance is there, we're certainly going to put it down and talk about it. And then yeah. temperatures dipping into the 80s. That'd I'm excited nice about that did, Sunday. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're all great. excited. I, I'm excited for Wednesday through Friday and then yes, Sunday when temperatures in the 80s. So here's crossing our fingers that the rain <laughs> will happen or at least some passing showers anything for california we so desperately need that's here. right we do you know, I, I, I know we always talk you well it never rains here in the Coachella valley and that's true sometimes we say it's going to rain and it's not i'm going to put it out there mm -hmm. it's just based on our topography you know it depends on where those cloud formations form and then it may drift over or or not so yeah, we're keeping a know. close eye you just yeah, yeah it, that's it's, why it's, it's called weather predicting things. because all you can do is try <laughs> to predict and Mother I, I try do to do the best whatever she wants i yeah. try to do the best well we appreciate it hey, <laughs> Thank i you. would say watching uh forecasters yeah. around the valley forecast yeah. I'd say you're uh, oh, well, you're right on it. Well, Dan, thank 
Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to throw All out right. there, well, you know, because we have, right. you know, the San Bernardino County Mountains as well as the San Jacintos, you know, we have, you know, those mountains at the, an elevation of 10,000, 11,000 feet. So it kind of pushes away most of the clouds that usually would give us rain. So that's why we, it's, it, we, it's called the rain shadow effect. And I guess I can get into that more in a little bit, but I know Weather I'm taking up, <laughs> taking up all your news time. So we'll talk about that a you're little fine, bit. You're fine. You're okay. fine. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Uh, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says that October is typically the time when the flu starts to spread. Yes, so if 